As you know, Wednesday late afternoon at around 6.15 or so, Pine Bluff had an EF1 tornado. It was a very, very brief tornado, very difficult to detect on radar, and I want to explain what happened with the radar imagery from that day. So we go back to our archived imagery, and what you see towards Whitehall and Faith right now, this is the reflectivity, the rain that you typically uh, see on our radar, but from Whitehall to Faith, a line of thunderstorms coming in and strong northwest winds with that. At the same time in Pine Bluff, around this time, winds are coming out of the southeast close to 50 miles per hour with this cell. Very important to watch this cell just to the south of Pine Bluff and the interaction with that cell with the line of thunderstorms coming in from the west. We'll go to the next scan and that goes closer to Pine Bluff near the area of where the damage was located. At the same time, that line of storms from the west begins to approach. And then there's an interaction with that line of storms and that individual cell which briefly spawned the EF1 tornado and then it gets absorbed into that line. So at the nearby airport, the winds prior to that line of storms coming in out of the southeast at 48 miles per hour. And then as that line of storms came through, the winds came out of the northwest at 40 miles per hour. That created a wind shear which was favorable for the formation of a very brief tornado. Now let's look at the velocity signatures, the motion of that wind. We'll back this up. Down here, that's that individual cell, the enhancement with the wind. This was about 610. And these reds, remember the radar is located in North Little Rock. The reds indicate motion away from the radar, so it's coming from the northwest. And the greens and the blues indicate motion towards the radar, again located in North Little Rock. So you have a strong southeasterly wind here, strong northwesterly wind coming in from the west. That's at about 610. Then we'll go to the next scan. There's that enhancement with that cell. This is at about 613. And then it begins to interact in the next scan right in here with those northwesterly winds and creates the necessary shear briefly for just a few seconds to create the EF1 tornado uh, in Pine Bluff. Here are the particulars on that. It was Arkansas's 15th tornado of the year for injuries, sadly. It was around 619, the path length two, uh, rather 0.26 miles, not even a, well, about a quarter of a mile, and the width about a football field wide. Thank you very much for trusting us here at Channel 7, the team with the most experience